Ready for the next one? Okay. What game are you most excited for for the holiday season? The question is, what games am I ex more excited for for the holiday season? Yeah. What game? Most excited? Uh, I don't... Hmm. Grand Theft Auto V looks amazing. But it looks amazing on PC. It looks like it would be... Especially with uh, whatever it's Grand Theft Auto Online... It looks like it could be one of one of those titles that you remember um, forever. Just the the depth that they're going back to with Grand Theft Auto Five, uh, like imagine Grand Theft Auto Four with Grand Theft Auto San Andreas RPG elements, and just the the breadth of the game uh, that Rockstar has showcased just looks. Even though it's the f it's the fifth Grand Theft Auto title. Um, at least fifth in their, their weird naming canon. There's, there's been a bunch more. But even though it's the second one on current gen consoles, and basically, and the second in this sort of realistic canon that they're trying to set up, it, it looks like it could be prolific in everything that it tries to do. Uh, I'm really excited for that coming out of September 17th. But again, it looks like it could be, a, it would be a great title on PC. But it's not coming out. On, it hasn't been announced yet for PC. We know a PC port is coming at some point, but we don't know when. And somebody caught a fish. <laughs> and they appear very happy about it. And apparently she just touched it. I think. Without even seeing it. She's touching the fish right now. And it's flopping around in her hands. <laughs> no. No? No. Come on. He's like, the dad was like chasing her with it. Close enough. She was scared of the damn fish. <laughs> anyway, it hasn't been announced for PC yet. And I'm going to play it on console, probably stream it, probably do a Let's Play of it, though I have to get in touch with my YouTube network to see um, about that, because I know Rockstar can be finicky about showing cutscenes in Let's Plays. And I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to get a strike on my channel because I would screw up. That's not why you called. I have to stream it to Twitch, and then Twitch would be like, "Well, are you gaming related enough?" And I'm like, "I don't know what. How much gaming related do I have to be to stream my show to Twitch? I don't even know." But I'm really excited for it. I. I'm really interested, in and this gets to talking about gaming console versus PC. Now everybody rips on the Xbox 360 as being tech that's six, seven years old, whatever it is, and it's not anywhere close to things that you can get in even an average gaming PC today in terms of power. And that's true. However, what, game, what current generation consoles still have is they've had developers developing for that hardware, for that specific build for six years. And if you just look, look at Call of Duty 4 versus Black Ops 2. Essentially, if you'll, hear the, if you'll hear the critics right, essentially the same game, same mechanics, all that stuff. But the games just look so incredibly different. And Black Ops 2 compared to COD 4 is so much more detailed in terms of what they can do graphically with the same tech power. And I'm interested, just in terms of just to be in awe of what people can do, uh, what programmers can do, I'm interested to see what uh, Rockstar can do with Grand Theft Auto V on the console, because I'm pretty sure everything we've seen, even the real-time in-game stuff, has been on a PC build. It's just, I, again, I'm not a, I'm not a computer uh, a programmer, so I don't know exactly how difficult it is to port a game from console uh, to PC. And Because uh, I know Grand Theft Auto IV had a, a, a bevy of issues upon release from PC when it released, I believe, six months after Grand Theft Auto IV released. And it had a bunch of issues. If you had more than two gigabytes of video RAM, the game would freak out on you and, and not like it. I know I had that issue a lot. So I'm really excited for Grand Theft Auto V, just as a, almost a complete change of pace um, from what I've been playing, a lot of first-person stuff, uh, first-person shooter stuff. Oh, my God, that duck was just like water skimming. It was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Where did all the I ducks wish you could come see them. I don't know. They know I'm filming. They want to be a part of this. You should, too. Like and favorite. Uh, where was I? Oh, but playing a lot of first-person shooter stuff. And I haven't really had a chance to do, to make 
YouTube content with anything really other than first-person shooter content or video game content. And so I'm interested, just from a creative standpoint, uh, to see what I can do in in terms of creating content for you guys in uh, in Grand Theft Auto V. But Battlefield Four definitely has my interest. I'm very excited for that game. Uh, if you, I listen to the commercials that they play all the time, and you can hear in the background a little bit the uh, I believe it's it was played on a sitar. Um, the the tune from Battlefield Two. I played it so much Battlefield Two back in the day, and that sitar riff. I know it by heart, and so I heard, when I heard it in the commercials, I was like, "Ooh, ooh, this sounds good." So I'm really excited for Battlefield Four. What else is coming out? Um, uh, Batman: Arkham Origins. Not a Rocksteady title, though. Not a Rocksteady title. So it could be not as good. There could be they're going for a younger Batman. They're they're going back in time. Uh, and sometimes games run into problems when they try to do that because you have a hard time explaining why all these new game mechanics with all this awesome technology isn't available to the older, you know, to the older, uh, the older series. Um, I know Halo had a problem with that with, I believe, Reach. I believe Halo Reach was, in terms of timeline, shut up, train! Uh, in terms of timeline, took place before Halo Combat Evolved, I want to say. Um, but there was a ton of... Uh, new tech there that wasn't in all the previous games and they had to find a way to narrate around that. So I'm excited for that. I... COD Ghost, nah. I'm ex nah. Call of Duty isn't really a part of what I do anymore other than outside stuff. Probably probably Grand Theft Auto V because I'm interested to see the meshing of Grand Theft Auto IV approach to realism and narrative um, meshed and melded with a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas type level of immersion in the game in the game world and the mechanics and all the things you can do, buying properties, trading on the stock market's a thing. I don't really know how big a deal that's going to be. So I remember Grand Theft Auto 4, when it came out, it said, oh, you can search the internet. Ah! And basically all you did was you typed in the, the porn site that gave you a five star and ran around like an idiot. Like, ah! So... Uh, Grand Theft Auto V, and then, and then of course, the creative element of it uh, from a standpoint of what, I, what can I do with it relative to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm definitely, definitely uh, excited for that. Well, you know what? Trains are, uh, trains are big things. Yeah. But so I would have to say uh, Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto V.